Here again with Rosie Ryan. Heath, great performance. We thought you had it. We really appreciated it. You must have been pleased. I, I thought you extended trot. You got the overstep again. I think he's he's looking good. And especially Rosie's going to be away soon. She's got the horse in quarantine. We're waiting. I'm sure you're really going to have some great performances. Yeah. Well, you know, I was really pleased with Ricardo Moir, you know, and um, and that's life, you know. You don't want to. You just got to go. Okay. Well, what did the judges have to say? And then get back and work on it. You know, that's the way it is. Yeah, and with Rosie going, it, it's caused quite a stir at home because um, Rosie, you know, we have 12 staff. They're all sort of between 17 and 20. Seven, and Rosie cooks for them every night. Now those cooking duties come over to me. Now it's not that difficult, but I find that you know, it, a little bit of creativity goes a long way. And and then I have to make the sort of ungrateful sort of um, staff. I, I have to walk around with a dressage stick to make sure that they all eat their dinner. You know, they they are very worried about Rosie leaving. Yeah. I, I can I can understand that, Heath. <laughs> well, I hope it all goes well at Roman Terrace while Rosie's away. Rosie, we're thrilled for you. You've got the selection, you've got the qualification scores. You're on your way to the two selection events. The horse has just been getting better and better. He's new to Grand Prix. It seems only 12 months ago he was only in the small tour. First of all, congratulations where you brought him. Where are you taking him in Europe? Are you going to be? Uh, where are you going to be based? Um, I'm going to base it um, the Bartles. Uh, Academy Bartles with Tina Kerr and Imka and you and um, I, I'm used to going there now I've been there since I think 96 I love going there it's a wonderful place to be they have their lovely facilities wonderful people and um, I'm really looking forward to it well it's great that, that you've made that decision I'm sure it'll be a great experience for you once more of course you are so experienced um, I, I'm so thrilled for Great Britain and, and I know born in Great Britain they they've always had good riders and yet it's not that long ago they they were I think well below us in Sydney Olympics their team result they kept confidence they kept faith in themselves now they've got the horse flesh to go with it um, I, I, I know you're sort of just there in time for London but I think it's going to be a great base now to work towards Chanty in France for World Equestrian Games. Oh yes I think so. I think um, Australia is, is traditionally very competitive in all sports and I think um, we, we're very determined with the dressage to improve and we have some wonderful horses, we've got really exciting riders and competition coming up so I, yeah I think Australia is is, is not far behind and I think as you say it's wonderful that um, Great Britain has suddenly become um, so competitive and, and really favourites for, for gold.